Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. This is Kim and I'm doing my first update for the That's Expensive project pan. And this project was created by Misty and I will link her down below. Um, this project centered around the fact that we all have a lot of expensive products in our collection and sometimes we let them sit and we're worried about using them and we don't want to use them because they're expensive and we want to save them. But this project forces us to use them. So here is where I'm at. The first product is the Hangover 3-in-1 spray and this went from 187 to 185.56 grams and I'll put a picture up in the corner. Um, I've used it a couple times, not many, but this is a goal to use up by the end of the year. The next product is the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Setting Powder and I basically have the whole thing left. If you look, um, and I will mark this and then put a picture up in the corner. It went from 65 to 65.25 grams. It's because I got a new scale and it measures to the hundredth and instead of like just the 65, 64, 63, it does the hundredths too. So hopefully I'll have better and more accurate weights for all my products. The next one is the Becca Under Eye Corrector. This started off at 43 grams and now it's at 42.89 and this is what it looks like. I have quite a considerable dip in there and it did go down. I've used it quite a bit. I really like it. I like the NYX one, but this one is so much more, more emollient and I really like that it goes under and I can tap it in and then keep working with it. Um, next product is the Too Faced Hangover Primer, which started off at 60 and then now it's 59.85. So I used a little bit. I probably could mark a little bit under there, but not enough to really make a difference. So I'm not making another mark. Just going to leave it the way it is. Um, the next product is the Becca, Becca Aqua Luminous perfecting foundation and this started off at 127 grams and it ended up at 126.04 and I only used the tiniest bit but I'm going to continue to use this I have no other foundations in my collection that are in a panning product uh, project and I really like this so this is going to continue to go down and it's lightweight enough that it blends in but it's high enough coverage that it does cover redness and whatever else I need to correct. Next up, I have the Unique Iridescent Highlighter and it's in, this is what it looks like. Why is my screen so crazy bright? This is what it looks like. It's very bright and I will leave a picture showing you what it looks like. You just need a tad and it goes forever. So next up I have the Becca Anti-Fatigue Under Eye Primer and I use this every day when I do my makeup under my eyes. I feel like it really gives a cooling sensation it plumps it up and it just gives a little bit and I can see through it if I put it up to a light I can see through it but I still don't have pan um, but I'm gonna still work on it I have the whole year and then finally I have the Ofra blush duo and chiclet and this is one of Samantha March's um, products in her release and I love this blush. There is a shimmer and a matte. And I just swirl my whole br brush in and I use it. And I feel like it really carves out my cheeks. I feel like it really gives me a nice uh, blush effect. And I don't know. My whole goal, I think, is to wear off the pattern. But I've used it a ton. You can't really tell. 
I don't know. So wish me luck. All right, guys, so this is my update for the That's Expensive Project Pan. Um, please follow me. Give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you like me. And have a great day or night wherever you are. And I'll chat with you on the next video. Bye.